Hey guys, I need to put together some more Thieves cleaner and also I am out of my Thieves fruit and veggie soak and right now this is out of stock. So I figured today we would talk about how to dilute Thieves cleaner and what to do when this product goes out of stock so that you are still able to wash your fruits and vegetables and not have them be nasty. So um, this is super simple and you have everything you need in your starter kit to remake the um, the fruit soak. There's one way to do it with just what's in your starter kit and there's another way to do it um, if you have some of the other Thieves products on hand. So let's start with the Thieves cleaner because that's super simple. So I'm here in my laundry room if you're wondering where I am. Um, but all you're going to do is take a cap full of your Thieves Cleaner. So this is an old bottle that I've kept and just put a spray bottle top on. Um, so you just fill up the cap with the cleaner, dump it in the other bottle. Sorry, you guys can't see that. I can't hold everything in the camera, which I'm using my husband's laptop so that you can see and be steady. And then you're just going to top this off with water. I'm making a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Where's my water? Oh goodness, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm messy and that's okay. It won't hurt nothing. I brought extra water with me because it is like, so you guys see how much water was in here. I do fill it up into the neck a good way. And then you just screw this back on and the thieves cleaner is ready to go. But it's got diluting instructions on this. It's hard to see because of the sun. Oh, because I'm using natural light through my window. But that's super simple. And then you're ready to just go spray clean anything you want to. And then what I'm going to do to replace my fruit and veggie soak. Um, this has a lot of similar things in it to um, the Thieves Cleaner because it's the base is the Thieves Oil. But I'm just going to take a cap full of my Thieves Cleaner again. Dump it in here. And then, so I'll just skip a step. Everybody's premium starter kits with the oils comes with a bottle of Digize. This is a bottle I've bought since then because I used up that bottle. But, um, I, let's see, how many ounces is this? 16. So I'm going to put 16 drops of this oil. I'm going to be quiet because you guys are probably going to be like, what are you talking? What are you doing? What's going on? And then, I don't know. I lost count. Well, call that good. Somebody probably go back and watch and be like, this, how many you did? Sure. But 16 would be sufficient, like one drop per ounce of water or whatever. Um, but however many is in there is in there. But Digize is part of this. Um, neat thing about Digize is it helps to counteract um, pesticides and things. So we obviously don't want to be consuming those. And that's just a great thing for it. It's part of this blend, so that's why I'm putting it in here. And okay, that's cool. And I'll just put the cap back on it and I'm ready to go again. And they say to use two tablespoons of this for every gallon of water. I usually just kind of splash it in a bowl and fill my biggest mixing bowl and soak all my things. Um, so that's the way you can do that. If you don't have the Thieves Cleaner, you can just fill that up with distilled water. That's what I was using for the cleaner and um, especially the fruit soak because I don't want... Um, things in the water, minerals and things in the water, that, I shouldn't say minerals, um, things like fluoride and other things in the water that aren't good for us. I don't want that on my food. So um, I use the filtered water to just do the very best that I can. And you can fill this with the water and then put those 16 drops of Digize. And I would probably put about 30 drops of Thieves in there. Um, but that's going to give you 
a really good basis for cleaning your fruit. Um, you'll have those helping to counteract those pesticides and also um, helping to purify your fruit. So if you don't have the Thieves Cleaner, one, I highly encourage you to get it. Two, if you still have a sample packet of it in the bottom of your starter kit, because some of your kits would have had that, um, pull that out and, and use it to make some fruit soap. That would be a great way to use it. Or you can put it in a spray bottle like this and start using it around your house. Either option. I encourage both very highly. Um, but there's lots of different ways to do this. Washing your fruit in something with Digize or Thieves is better than not doing it at all. So I hope that was helpful, you guys. I am off to go um, put these back where they belong and get my son who just woke up. And I will see you next week.